Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 1403 Madrona Lane here in Forest Grove. We are located at the front of the house. We are just to the uh, right of the front doorway. And I describe everything as if you're standing in the street facing the front of the house. So you got a good landmark to go off of here. The sewer line comes out of the house right next to the water shutoff where the main water supply comes in. It's just a few inches to the left of the little concrete lid there. Got a three inch ABS clean out. We're gonna check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We've got water currently running. We are zeroed out. And off we go here. spilled up in the line that's why I keep trying to shake off my camera lens here thus far though not an outrageous amount of it. it's nothing I'd recommend you clean I mostly pointed out for educational purposes this is actually quite a clean sewer line relative to most homes all right just made a transition there looks like we're swapping over to concrete pipe Appeared to be six inch diameter concrete, although we'll get a better view of some of that stuff on the way out. Sometimes it's four inch pipe. We'll have to see if we have any transitions in the ABS pipe up to four inch. There's our main lateral connection right there. Right, the line is tying right into the manhole out in the street. All right, we're gonna let the line drain out here for just a moment. We're gonna go locate the camera head. In this case, I should be able to just look through the manhole cover and see where the line, or see the camera down there. Alrighty, located the camera head successfully. You have a manhole that sits pretty much dead straight out from your driveway. That is right where the sewer line terminates there, right into that manhole. So what the line is doing here, it runs in a relatively straight shot. If you were to draw a straight line from this clean out to the curb, um, the line ends up crossing the street curb about eight to 10 feet to the right of the driveway. And then from that point, it, it makes a, a pretty good turn and then run straight over to the manhole. So as you face this house, if you were to turn and look out to the road, um, actually I'll keep the same orientation. If you were to be standing back to where that manhole, if you're facing the front of the house from the street, but standing where the manhole's in front of you, the line comes into it right into the side of it. It doesn't come straight into it like the line's running down the driveway. It goes into the side of it. Not that really matters a whole lot, but in case you're curious how, how the line's configured. You've got a little bit of standing water out here. Uh, and when you're near a manhole, it's not super uncommon to have a little bit of standing water. Manholes tend to gather debris. Um, you often have pretty much every house on this street, on this cul-de-sac area here likely ties directly to that manhole. So you, you get a lot of debris and, and cross traffic in there. So it's pretty common to get a little bit of debris sitting in the manhole that'll cause some level of water to stand. So 
it, it's it's very possible that's not even truly a any kind of belly there. It could just be a little bit of a debris dam is created. Anyway, this right here is the turn where the line turns to shoot over to the manhole. You can see the angle that's running at. That's what I'm getting at when I was trying to describe how that ties in here. It doesn't run straight into the manhole. It comes into the side of it. From what I can tell here, that appears to be six inch concrete pipe. And the concrete pipe's all in good shape. Drains off nicely. The standing water is so minimal there at the end of the line, it's not even something that's going on my report. That's hardly even worth talking about, it's so minor. At the point where I start to consider repairs is once there's about an inch of standing water for a minimum of five feet, that's what the line fully drained. What you had there at the end, about the last six to eight feet of the line was something like a sixteenth to a quarter inch of water. A very, very minimal, minor amount. All right, we, are, we still have a little bit of water. I think it's probably coming from inside the house, trickling through there. That's not standing water. Not that it would be a meaningful amount anyway, even if it was. All right, we are back. Now it looks like, there we go. There's where the line bells out. The line bells out to four inch pipe. Looks like right outside, or just in front of the clean out access is where it bells out to four inch. So it goes three inch ABS through the interior of the house. And then four inch ABS about, oh, six inches to a foot away from the clean out. And then it goes over to six inch concrete around the uh, street edge. We're just going to push back to the foundation wall here for just a moment. And everything beyond this point here is all interior crawl space pipe, and that's all exposed piping. The home inspector takes a look at that stuff when they're down in the crawl space. I focus on everything that's buried underground. And the line looks good going through the foundation wall. We have good flow here all the way out to the main lateral. Both the ABS and concrete portions of the line we have scoped here. Both of them are in good condition have good flow and are functioning properly at this time. Nice looking sewer line there. 